Welcome to uh, another Geekmatic. episode. Yeah, Geekmatic. And uh, we're here at Tim's room. Yeah, uh, with my shield. Yeah. And uh, 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 Civil War poster. Mm -hmm. And it fits the occasion now because we're going to be talking about some Marvel Universe figures. Okay. Which I've acquired from the past few months. And mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. for those who don't know, uh, Marvel Universe has been getting hotter and hotter because of the nice articulation and improved figures that they've been chucking out. Yeah, the out. second wave looks better. The yes, the much, figure. much better and they have stands. Okay. That's the most important thing. They have stands and pegs that you it's can like insert the figures. <laughs> because it's by Hasbro, right? Okay. So, let's go. Let's check the figures out. Okay, first things first, we have Captain America, Steve Rogers, decked out in his uh, ultimate the, uniform. The ultimate Captain America. Yes. Uh, from so the Universe 616. No, no, Universe 616 is our continuity. Oh, what? The one with the wingtips. Okay. The original cap we remember. This one doesn't have the wingtips. Okay. So, okay, moving on, we have Daredevil, Matt Murdock. Of course, uh, in his classic red costume. Next, we have Spider Man in his black costume. Which is not the symbiote. Yes, it's not the symbiote. It's from the back in black story where uh, he got fed up with the kingpin because he tried to assassinate Aunt May. So, he took off the gloves and started wearing the black costume as a statement. And, and then we have Ben Grimm, The Thing, oh yeah. member of the Fantastic Four, and now the new Avengers, alongside Luke Cage. Mm -hmm. So, the ever-loving blue-eyed monster. Is a uh, member of the Avengers. Yes, and the, still the Fantastic Four. Moving on, we have Miss Marvel, aka Carol Danvers, mm -hmm. also a member of the new Avengers, and uh, super-powered sexy female. <laughs> so DNA from uh, Captain Marvel. Yes, and, and the from brood. the brood. Yeah. Okay. So that's why she has uh, superpowers. Next we have uh, Spider-Man again in his original red and blue costume. You can't go wrong with that and it's, it's based McFarlane. on the McFarlane design. Except the eyes are wrong. Yeah. The, the, uh, Next we have the extremist armor Iron Man. Your favorite. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite armors because of its abilities and the fact that it gave Tony Stark true superpowers for the first time. Yeah, so moving on we have... Uh, Captain America in his World War II outfit. And the shield is different because that was his original shield. So, yeah, if you remember uh, the old comics and the World War II era, that's how Cap looked like. Next, we have Luke Cage. And Mark, doesn't he remind you of somebody? I don't know, he's not black, he's pale. <laughs> yeah, but still. Uh, anybody remember Mac? Oh, yeah. yeah, Mac. <laughs> Mac. Mark likes to compare you to this guy, so <laughs> no offense, but uh, Luke, Luke Cage is cool. Yep. Okay, so moving on, we have Bucky in his World War II outfit. Oh, yeah. More on him later. Two guns. Yeah, two guns. Uh, and he's the sidekick of Captain America, for those who don't know. <laughs> and the next one is uh, Modern Thor. Uh, he has no nose. Yeah, he looks like a creature from Avatar, except he's not color blue. Yep, uh, from Olivier Coppia. Yes, the uh, artist for House of M and Siege. Okay. Moving on, we have the Iron Spider from Civil War. And yeah, he looks cool. Uh, designed by Tony Stark, the suit, given to Peter Parker, but Peter abandoned it after... The uh, Marvel Legends version has six. Is it? It has uh, three, th three uh, stingers. Okay. This one has four. Okay. Uh, what I said was uh, Peter Parker started wearing this when he worked for Tony Stark. And revealed this identity to the world during uh, Civil War. Yeah, but when he quit that and he went to join Captain America, he abandoned that costume and went back to the red and blue. Okay. Moving on, we have the Bucky one Barnes have. again, but this time as a brainwashed Russian spy known as the Winter Soldier. Which right? I have that you gave me. Yeah, I gave it to you. He has a cybernetic arm, mm -hmm. and he's one dangerous fellow. You don't want to get in touch with. Okay. Next, we have. Oh Mary yeah, Jane Watson, one of the other rare figures besides Thor in the Marvel Universe line. Why? Because it has a dog named Miss Lion. From the from the Spider-Man and his Amazing Friends cartoon. And if you know your Marvel Universe figures, uh, they released a three-pack Toys R Us exclusive of Spider-Man and his Amazing Friends with Spider-Man, Iceman, and Firestar. So this figure and Miss Lion complement that. Package. That, well. that set was a Toys R Us exclusive. Yes, that's what I just said. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and lastly, we have Norman Osborn, decked out in the Iron Patriot armor. 
Okay. Uh, essentially, he stole Tony Stark's technology and made an armor for himself based on Iron Man and Captain America's uh, symbols. So, it's a mockery to both heroes. It's just a repaint, a slight uh, remold of the figure. Of the extremists, yeah, Which up is there. This one. Uh -huh. So, okay, so we have all of these figures, and this is Geekmatic. Well, it's 1 a.m., so we have to go to bed now. Yeah, we have to go to bed now. <laughs> have a good one. <laughs> and you better go to bed, Mark. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is Geekmatic. Mark and Tim signing, signing off. off. Have, a, have a good one.